girls. Today we're gonna to do our makeup pretty quickly. A lot of you are concerned that you won't be able to follow instructions and maybe I make it look easier than it is. It's not. We're gonna paint by numbers. We're gonna do our makeup with one brush and all of you are gonna get the hat girl in your delivery when you get your mascara, okay? Just follow the instructions here and you'll be good to go. I'm doing this with the 30 second hack brush and my compact. Mine is probably gonna be a little bit bigger than what you start out with, but it's great because I can basically layer everything I want into one place. So let's get started. Hack girl, all the yellow is your main highlight. That is basically what you would traditionally know as foundation. I have two colors, one that's darker or my main highlight that matches my skin. And then I have one that's brighter and that highlight goes to brighten my face. That highlight would be the version of what you traditionally know as a concealer. Now I'm gonna leave a bunch of my skin open. Like I don't need to put this all over my face and then something else all over my face. We are just gonna put it where it belongs. All right, I did my nose with my main highlight because I'm pretty red and I like to do my whole chin with a thin layer of the main highlight, kind of connect the bridge here. See where like the, the tiki, whatever that is. Okay, but everything here, nothing. Anything here, nothing, because this is where contour and blush is gonna go, okay? Contour and this is where brightener is gonna go. So you can't really see, but I just went from, covered everything between the temple, then across my forehead to the temple. All right, same brush, I'm going into my brightener. This is a brightening highlight. I do this under my eye um, concealer, if you do your concealer just under your eye, stop it right now. You're aging yourself, okay? It's not where we want it to go. Also, try not to put layers on layers of makeup around your skin area, because this is where most of your wrinkles are. It's the, you know, um, skin that moves the most throughout the day. The more makeup you have and put on, isn't gonna do more coverage. This is not that kind of a makeup. What's special about this makeup is the color correcting technology. So you only need one layer. If it's not doing the job for you, then reach out to me and we'll figure out why not and what color you might need instead. So bridge of your nose to the brows with the brightener, fan it out. Right under my nostrils, over my lips, down, straight on my chin. Okay, I like to prime my eyelids because see they're a little red, um, but also if I end up sticking any eyeshadow on there, this works great as a primer because it'll keep that eyeshadow in place. Okay. Now I switch my brush around to the pointy end. You can use either end to do what you need to do. And next we do contour. Contour, according to the hat girl, is anywhere you want definition. You're gonna create angles by creating fake shadows. So along the hairline, nose, cheekbones of course, and the jawline, okay? When you contour, this is not the same as bronzer. Bronzer and contour are two different things. Contour goes along the hairline to kind of bring down a shadow, minimize your forehead. It goes cheekbones and then the nose. Here's some tips from, for the nose. You don't want the contour anywhere down here. This is what you want your highlight to be, okay? So the contour is just a thin strip just on the tip of your nose to give it a different shape. You use contour to reshape your nose. If you have a bump, if it's crooked, don't follow the lines of your nose, go straight down over it because that shadow is gonna give you the illusion that you don't have a bump or a crooked nose. So, find your cheekbone. You don't wanna go low. You're where your cheekbone is, there's a little divot under it. Find that divot and apply it along those lines. You don't put it on your cheekbone or down here. So usually around the tip of your ear is where you're gonna find it, okay? 
and do not go any further than this, okay? It's a little dark, but we can do it. Same thing here, find your cheekbone. And stop at the corner of your eye. Then whatever I have left on here, I contour my nose. This is the hardest part, but it is not that scary because it's so easy to fix. It's gonna look cuckoo crazy, girls, but I promise we're gonna blend it out. You could even just dip your middle fingers in there, touch them together and bring them down and you'll get two perfect lines with the white in the middle. I like to do a little bit under my lip to make it poutier. Okay. And then along the jawline, I connect it down here along the jawline. And then blend it down. So far, I mean, it's been summer. I'm not wearing too many scarves at the moment, but I have not noticed any of this, you know, sticking to my clothes, if that makes sense. All right, make sure you blend well and make sure you blend it down. Okay, last but not least, we're gonna do the hairline. If you have a very large forehead, and you want to minimize it, you can bring your contour down a little lower. Some things I blend as I go, other things I leave like this as I apply. Okay? And because it's cream, so until you set it, you can fix any mistakes you made. If you brought it too far, it's okay, you can bring it back. If you brought it too low, it's okay, we can bring it up. If you brought it too high, it's okay, we can bring it down. But generally, if you get it in the right spot, always blend up to give you that push-up bra effect, okay? And stipple, that means like tapping. You can tap with your finger, you can tap the fluffier end of the brush. Stippling means you're not gonna wipe it off but you're blending it by kind of softening the contour lines. And I can do this with the same brush, even though there's really stark contrast between what the um, contour and the highlight colors are because they're creams and the brush is specifically designed for that. So now I'll go back in my main highlight, clean it up a little bit, there. I dip my finger on my brightening highlight and just bring it down, bridge my nose to brighten. Whatever is left, I stick under my nostrils right here. Okay, next we do blush. We'll go with nude today. Nude is a really pretty, like a rosy pink. Now, it's pretty close. It's going to stay close to the contour always on the apples of your cheeks. Don't get it like too close to your nose. Leave at least two fingers, right? I like to apply it with my finger because they're highly pigmented. It's always easier to put more on than take stuff off. And I can blend it with my fingers. It's not gonna be as pretty or as even as if you blended it with a blue beauty blender or even the brush you just did your makeup with. Key, key, key. When you blend your or apply your blush stipple, please never swipe. You're just gonna swipe it off or into the wrong spot. Just keep blending. Remember, contour up, blush goes down. You don't want the blush in your eye and you don't want the blush close to your nose or your mouth. Now, soften all of those lines. We got a little close to the nose. I'll just take a towel or a paper towel, what I have, just swipe it a little bit, swirl it, do it on your hand maybe, to get some of that blush off. And I go back, my compact, to clean it up. I go, I'm gonna clean it up over here, which is where I used my brightener, or what you would traditionally call a concealer. 
If you have a lot of product on here already, you don't need to add any more, but this helps bring it where it needs to be. Okay, last step, we are gonna do illuminator. An illuminator goes wherever light would hit you naturally. So if the sun shines down, obviously you're not gonna need illuminator on the bottom of your face. You put it right on your cheekbones, but don't bring it close to here because shimmer should never be in the front of your face. Shimmer actually will enhance your pores. <laughs> so don't do that, okay? We'll do a little on the bridge of my nose, tip of it. Cupid's bow. You can do some on top of your brow and kind of fan it out. Never put it in the middle. It's not, again, you don't want to enhance your pores. You don't have to worry so much about that when it comes to cream illuminators. Definitely be careful if you use a powder. Now, you gotta set it with something or the cream's just gonna move around. I'm gonna use our vanilla dust setting powder. Let's pretend I only have one brush. Again, just take a towel or a paper towel and grab as much of the cream off of it as possible. I like a denser brush, but the key when you apply the powder that you set it with is press it in. Swiping and dusting powder onto your face, that's a myth, don't do that but you wanna set the cream so it stays in place and the skin that moves the most, so around my eyes, and then my oily zones, okay? Around my nose and just between my brows. Any translucent setting powder will work. I like the vanilla dust because it has a little bit of color. But that's it, all right? Then the last thing I would do is I take a stay spray. This is the one my mascara. I got it in my mouth. And anywhere from one to four spritzes, and we're good to go. Makeup staying all day, I forgot. Take my finger, same nude. And I got a lipstick. All right, I take my contour, the stuff I created shadows with. And if you have a loose setting powder and you don't want it to crease so much, not that it will, you can always tap a little powder, translucent powder on top of the cream eyeshadows to make it stay all day. But besides beyond um, mascara, that's it. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.